The idea for this one was lifted entirely from a couple of videos that Matt Parker did where he shows how to make binary logic gates out of toppling dominoes. Um, I'll put some links to those videos in the description. You should definitely check them out because he explains it way better than I can. And also he has the patience and the huge amounts of dominoes that you need to do this in real life and on a really massive scale. It's very, very cool to watch. I highly recommend it. I just wanted to see if I could get them working in Algadoo, and it turns out they actually work quite nicely. So what I've got here is an output, red domino is my output. This represents a zero if it stays standing and a one if it falls over. Up here we've got two inputs which you can either have as a one input by chucking a ball down this ramp or a zero input by not chucking a ball down the ramp. This is an AND gate, so we'd expect that it would output a 1 only when I chuck a 1 down both inputs. So let's try it out. Let's put a 1 down just the top input. And here we're going to expect it to output 0. So the signal goes in, it splits there, goes across and blocks itself. So once the operation is over, Red domino still standing, zero output. Let's try that again. This time we'll put a zero across the bottom input. And again, we're expecting a zero output here. And that signal just dies, doesn't go anywhere. Now we'll run a one across both inputs. And here we're expecting an output of one. So we're expecting the red domino to fall. So you can see it splits again, but this time the blocking signal can't get through. And so at the end of the operation, the red domino falls, output of one. That's a working AND gate in Algodoo dominoes. Next up, I also have an exclusive OR gate. This works similar kind of principle, except here we expect an output of one, a fallen domino, if you put a 1 across either of the inputs when the other input is a 0. So let's start off, let's just put a 1 into this left input, run that, signal goes in, into this middle section we're expecting a 1, and there it is, red domino falls, output of 1. So let's try one input on the other side and here we expect just the exact mirror image of what we just saw ending in a fallen red domino one output and there it is bish bash bosh now we'll try a one on both of them and here we're expecting a zero output so the red domino shouldn't fall and you see the signal goes in blocks itself in the middle so that works as we'd expect as well very cool now if you watch the Matt Parker videos you'll see he sort of takes elements of these chains them together into a binary half adder which is the basis of doing binary calculations I've set one up here now what this does is it counts the number of inputs you give it so if I give it one input on either of these the red domino will fall if I give it two inputs, the blue domino will fall. So first thing we'll try, let's put a one onto this left hand one. And what we're expecting here is the red domino to fall. It's a very slow circuit. Check out the little slide I put in, pretty cool. And there you go, the red domino falls. And that signal over there is just a blocker, which you'll see working in a second. Now, let's try putting a 1 across the other input. And again, we're expecting just the red domino to fall here. So, see there's a split in the signal there. This section over on the right is just a delay loop. And you'll see red domino falls. And here we go, this blocks that second signal, and that's the output we expected. 
Now we'll run two inputs and here we're expecting just the blue domino to fall. So you'll see this signal here blocks itself up on this circuit and now we just have to wait for the delay loop to run out. It is probably the slowest computer one could conceive of. It's awful really but there you go. Blue dominoes falls, that's a two output. So that's my binary half adder. And again, if you watch the Matt Parker videos, he goes on to explain that you can chain these together to form full circuits for doing binary arithmetic, which is quite a cool idea. I think I'll have a crack at it one day, not now. For now, this is all I'm doing. I'll put the uh, Algodoo files somewhere if you want to download them and have a poke around with them I'll put links down in the description but um, yeah for now hope you found this interesting next time